Bob Setlin. Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is the executive chef of Nashville's very popular restaurant, Henley, and today is making us a delicious pan-roasted red snapper with crispy, dirty rice. Please give a warm welcome, Chef Daniel Gorman. Welcome, Chef Daniel. We're very excited about this. Also joining us at the counter is our good friend Jordana Brewster from the Fast and Furious franchise and the Weapon, of course. We're going to be talking with you in just a little bit about all things that are going on in your life, including your adorable children. But before we do that, we're going to feed you, because that's what we do, Jordana. That's what we do. Food's good. Everyone. Food's great. So Please. let's talk about the Henley. It's a very Henley. popular restaurant in Nashville. Nashville. And... Everything you make there, all your ingredients are locally sourced. That's yep. so wonderful. How do you do that? So we locally source everything from the proteins, the pork. Leanne at Bear Creek's my favorite person in the world. Love her to death. She brings everything fresh every week. Aww. All my pigs, my chickens, all the local produce. That's so important. It's truly farm to it's table. It's amazing. It's it incredible. It really is. Vegetables, everything across everything. the board. A beautiful thing about Nashville is I have Nashville grown. So it's like 150 farms in one app. And I can just wow. order everything, and it comes oh, like wonderful. three days a week. It's amazing. Well, this delicious dish is on the menu. We all love it. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to us about this red snapper dirty rice situation. Talk to, for before we even get into the, the dirty rice, which is to die for. As you can tell, everyone over there really is very is. quiet. They've already so started. Dirty Absolutely never amazing. tasted so good. No, yeah. we, were, we were all sampling in the kitchen earlier. Like, this is so good. <laughs> The red snapper, we prepared it over there already, yep. but what do you look for when you're buying red snapper? So red snapper, or all fish in general, clean, beautiful, doesn't smell bad, clear eyes, it's always a good one, like clear one eyes. of those bad commercials. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why, they need eye drops? Yeah. You don't want fish that can't see? Why clear eyes? Because the longer they're out of the water, their eyes get foggy and they get musty. I did not know. Okay. Oh. So if they're clear, you're a safe bet. Really? Oh. I yeah. didn't know that either. Oh there my gosh. Does it have to be snapper or will, is this recipe, will that go for any, any fish? Of, any, fi any, any fish. fish. Wow. Any soft flaky fish. A steaky fish, maybe a little different, but, but with rice. Because sometimes you can just mix it up with the rice. It makes it so much better. Sure. Right? Okay, well, let's get started on the rice. We've already prepared our snapper, so we've got that sitting over there. And over yep. here in a pan, what have you what So have in you the pan, going? we have a little andouille. It's already started to cook here. Okay, sausage. And then that's the sausage. Okay. And then we have <laughs> onions, bell peppers, and a little celery. Um, to that, we're going to add chicken livers. So this one gets a little more oh, dirty. Chicken livers, okay. So the chicken livers go into here. We're going to cook those in. I love these. They're not, they are underappreciated and underused. Woo! They are so underused. Yeah. But I use them in everything. What's the story with the chicken livers? Why? Chicken livers, so dirty rice is everything you have, like in your <laughs> fridge, into a pan with rice. Make it crispy and oh, delicious. Oh, is that what it is? Just leftover? Yeah, kind okay, of. Okay, I see. But there's a base to it. Okay. Uh, we're going to add a little gumbo filet here. Okay. We have some cayenne, some Old Bay. You I can't love go Old wrong. Bay. Yeah, I'd love Old Bay. You can put Old Bay on anything. It's probably anything. my next tattoo. It'll be a can of Old Bay. <laughs> it's so good. Um, jalapenos garlic? and garlic. Yep, let's do that. Okay. Um, now, did you woo. use olive oil or butter? Butter. Oh. Girl, girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> olive oil is only on pasta night. Um, so butter's the way we go in my house and in the restaurant. When you say clean out your kitchen, seriously, you just go in. Whatever vegetables are left over, whatever meats are left over. What so we start like with that? the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. Uh, celery, onions, and bell peppers. That trinity. Oh, exactly. Got it. I'm confused for a second. Different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I label it with a... Anyways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but other than that, you can add anything you want. So sausage, I use Mexican sauces sometimes, andouille. Bok choy is good in there as well. Oh, interesting. Anything. So it's like stir fried rice. So this dish came to be with the crispiness because I love fried rice. When oh, I'm off, interesting. I eat fried rice all it's the time. So good. But, but that's the key. How that's do you key. make the rice crispy? Because yeah. without it sticking to the bottom or burning. Well, nonstick pan helps. Okay, nonstick okay. pan. That's <laughs> right. Nonstick pan's great. Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, but then you add your rice. So once you get everything seasoned, get all those aromatic love loves in there. And all that smell, okay. everyone smells that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Then you stir in your rice. And once you get it all mixed up, you turn it to like medium high and you let it go. You just let it sit. You let it sit. I'd and be then, so paranoid it's going to burn. Yes. Yeah. You never saw this commercial, set it and forget it. <laughs> right, I, I think that was question. for dentures. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was not. Dentures. So I have I heard have that with fried rice, the secret to good fried rice is starting with cold rice. True Left or false? Leftover rice. So Left true. Overs. Yeah, true. So we, at the restaurant, we cook our rice two days before and dry it out for two full days. Oh, because it needs to be dry because yeah. the moisture is not going to let you it get dry crispy. Dry it in the fridge or you like uh, leave it on the Dry it in the fridge. Wow. So then we leave, we just set this for 10 minutes you and it's ready it, to go. Medium hot and then we get this beautiful thing here. Okay, so even if you don't have, like all kidding aside, even if you don't have a nonstick pan, you can make this. Yeah, of course. And get that same crispy consistency. Of course. You just have to let it be and don't Let it mess. be. 
enough fat. Okay. Helps a lot. Okay, so the butter is very important. The butter is important here. Okay. Now, you could also use olive oil if you had to. Okay. Now, not only a chef, I understand you also have a green thumb. So you're actually growing some of your stuff like our gal Shirley. True or false? Mm, true. <laughs> uh, I grow more plants in my house than any chef I know. <laughs> I have four garden beds in my house. And oh, look at that. I love plants. Aww. Like 44 indoor house plants. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> 44? <laughs> at least. You're like the cat alive? lady of plants. I know. <laughs> what is your favorite vegetable to grow? Favorite vegetable to grow and eat? Ooh, squash. Squash. Yeah, because you can use the baby leaves, you can use the plant itself, Ooh, the flowers, and the flowers, and then squash you can do so much with. Oh, that's beautiful. Could you put squash in your dirty rice? Uh, of course. <laughs> I you could just do squash. Rice. You can make a vegetarian with just squash. Right. What if I didn't want chicken livers or the andouille? Oh. What would you substitute? Everything from the farmer's market. Okay. Peas. Oh, okay. You know, mm. Mushrooms, a little Ooh, umami in there. Would be great. Ooh, girl. 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 I love that you keep saying girl. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hungry. Somebody wants to you know. want to taste it. It's a girl yeah, that's hungry. Girl. Girl. Little fish. Are we going to fish with scallions? Oh, scallions. You want to okay, pour some butter sauce on top and lemon? More butter. Wow. Does the butter go first or the lemon? Go butter. Go butter first. The chicken liver, is that mainly for the flavor? I mean, I know you said throw everything you've got in there, but there there must be really There's good. a flavor there. <laughs> okay. It is. Right. It adds a little bit of funk, a little bit of iron to it. It gives it more body. Mm. So the idea is like in the South, when I grew up, I would go to Bojangles all the time, and you would get this <laughs> fried, dirty rice, and yes. it makes every beach experience that much better. <laughs> The full Mix recipe, everyone, is available on HallmarkChannel.com. You've got to make this. Uh -oh. It is absolutely delicious.